This is Jean, women's tennis, and you're watching this week at Pepper. It's finals week at Pepperdine, but three conference championships are set for this weekend as the men's volleyball team heads to Provo, Utah for the MPSF semifinals and final, and the men's and women's tennis teams go to San Diego for the West Coast Conference Championships. Come to the right place for all the updates. It's this week at Pepperdine. The stars from the week. In his 37th year as head coach, Gualberto Escondero of Women's Tennis announced today he will be stepping down from his current role at the end of the 2014 season. The veteran women's tennis coach will remain with the Waves as the associate head coach. He is just one of three women's tennis coaches to reach the 600 wins milestone. Alex Sarkeesian was announced today, the 2014 West Coast Conference Player of the Year for Men's Tennis. He is the 16th Wave in the, in the award's 17-year history to earn the recognition. It's actually a great award, you know, playing at Pepperdine and the West Coast Conference uh, definitely means a lot to be a player. Um, it's a good accomplishment, I feel like, and it's a good thing for Pepperdine. Senior Kyle Garens made the very most of his final match inside Firestone Fieldhouse on Saturday. The outside hitter delivered an inspiring performance with a career high and team leading 17 kills to lift the ways past Long Beach State. Liv Chang and Marissa Chow both tied for second place at the WCC Championships last week and led the women's golf team to its 13th consecutive league title. Frederick Waddell earned all West Coast Conference honorable mention notice after leading the men's golf team at the championships with his tie for 13th place. The top plays from last week, baseball against San Francisco on Saturday. Bases loaded for the Dons on this deep shot into the gap. Ryan Langlois starts the relay to Manny Jefferson to Aaron Barnett for the put out on the potential game time run in a game that the Waves win four to three. Now a look at what is coming up this week. The men's volleyball team advanced to the MPSF tournament semifinals for the 13th time in program history with its 3-1 victory over Long Beach State on Saturday in the quarterfinals. The second seeded Waves will face number three Stanford on Thursday in Provo, Utah with the winner playing either UC Santa Barbara or BYU in the finals on Saturday. Pepperdine is 23-15 all-time at the MPSF championship, including an 8-4 mark in the semifinals. And we're on the road to Provo, which we're pretty excited about. Uh, they have a great tradition of volleyball, and their fans are awesome. And you can always expect a great crowd. And we're really excited to get another shot at Stanford. Uh, they beat us twice this year, so we're just really excited that we're going to be able to play a great team in the semifinals and hopefully make it out to the MPSF finals in Provo. The men's and women's tennis teams both opened the postseason on Friday in the semifinals of the West Coast Conference Tournament. The women's team, seeded number one and 9-0 against league opponents this year, will contend for its 31st West Coast Conference Tournament Championship. All six lineup regulars earned a mention in the 2014 All-Conference Awards, with Lorraine Guillermo, Ale Granillo, and Matea Katura being honored in both singles and doubles. The men's side will be looking for a bit of retribution in the tournament after ending the regular season with a rare loss to their biggest league rival, San Diego. Alex Sarkeesian was announced as the player of the year today in the conference, while fellow seniors Francis Alcantara and David Sofer were also recognized as all-conference selections. The men have not lost at the WCC tournament since 1990. We're looking forward to this weekend because it's a conference and it's pretty big. Our conference is pretty strong, so we're really looking to bring our game. Some keys that would be for this practice this week would be to pay attention to details as details go a long way. And I'm really pleased with uh, how we have really played together and brought the energy from practice, which has transitioned to the matches, and how we've really been playing together a lot. We lost to San Diego last time, and we're a little pumped up from that. So I think it should be a good good revenge thing to go in there and try to get the win. And uh, The winner of this tournament gets the wild card, or the entrance into NCAA. So. Uh, where everyone's all motivated to play it, and we're all looking forward to it. Best of luck to all our student athletes taking final exams and traveling for championship weekend. Thanks for joining us on This Week at Pepperdine.